Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Dr. Harvinder Singh. Welcome to our next video podcast. This is a very short video podcast and in this I will briefly go over this topic of managing patients missed dose of clozapine. So let's begin. Uh, this topic is of very, very clinical relevance. I work on inpatient psych unit and I see this a lot in many of uh, my chronic patients with schizophrenia. Either they are missing medications uh, and coming to the hospital with worsening of the underlying psychiatric symptoms. How do you manage that? And uh, I looked into literature, various guidelines. Uh, I was not able to find all the information in one place. So I decided to make this video podcast. Please let me know if there are more um, variables that you look into before deciding which uh, dose of clozapine to restart on. But these are the factors that I look into when I decide to start them back on clozapine after recent missed doses. So let's see which variables are those. The first one I look into is how long is my patient stable on clozapine for before they miss their doses? Because if a patient was recently started on clozapine few weeks ago versus someone who is stable on clozapine for three years, the difference is the rate of titration for these patients. For somebody who is new on clozapine, I will be very, very slow and cautious with clozapine titration. That's number one. Number two is again, past history of clozapine complications. But here I have mentioned dose related clozapine complication. What that means is clozapine have various black box warnings and side effects that we should be worried about. Some of them happens irrespective of the dose and titration of the doses. But some of them are well known to be dose related. And these are like agranulocytosis and seizure disorder. So if a patient have past history of either of these, I will be doing very slow titration rather than doing a faster titration to reach their last known dosages. Now this was point number two. Point number three is I will definitely look at their last CBC with diff to see if there was any sudden decline or agranulocytosis noted. If so, definitely faster titration is not recommended. And their current medical status, especially the cardiac one, neurological one from seizure standpoint, infection one because somebody with low white count are at high risk of getting infection or infection progressing to severe level easily in those cases. So number five, I look at the severity of the underlying psychiatric condition also. If a patient had such a severe worsening of their underlying psychosis that it is directly causing a risk of patient harming themselves or others or their underlying medical condition, I will be doing a little faster titration than other patients. And last point, and I think most important one is, how long is your patient missing these clozapine doses for? And uh, I think most of the guidelines that I was able to find, uh, I reviewed Canadian guidelines, Australian guidelines, and I think in UK, Maudsley uh, guideline, and this is what I felt was common theme on in, all, in most of them. So let's talk about duration now. So they all talk about less than 48 hours, 
48 to 72 hours or more than 72 hours of missing these dosages. So a patient who has missed only less than two days, less than 48 hours, you can restart the last known dose without any need for titration. But for every patient you restart, you need to do the close monitoring for agranulocytosis, but I will also closely monitor for other well-known side effect from clozapine. Now, what about patient between 48 to 72 hours, two to three days? And these recommendations are actually from the Maudsley prescribing guidelines. So they recommend that on day one, start 50% of the last dose, go quickly to 75% of the last dose on day two. And if patient is tolerating these doses well, reach the last known dose on day three. So very fast titration here. But if a person has missed more than 72 hours, recommendation is initiating back from the low dose, either 12.5 once daily or twice daily, or if you wanna start 50 milligram daily dosing, and um, titration should be slow, but you can go up by 50 milligram every day to reach the last known dose. But again, I will say, please look into all the factors that we just talked about, and then make the decision regarding what dose to restart on day one, and how fast to titrate these medication dose to reach a therapeutic dosages that has worked for your patient in past. So friends, thank you again. This was our topic for today. And uh, I will be placing the slides in, a, in our course chapters for our course subscribers only. But please do follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is my email. Don't hesitate. Contact me if you have any questions. You agree or disagree with me. And if you have not already done, do subscribe to our Physician's Guide for Clinical Psychiatry course. Actually, this chapter will be our 222nd chapter in this course. So thank you, friends. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.